Hey guys, welcome to chapter five. We are going to be doing a lot with triangles in this chapter. So to start out with, we're just gonna talk about how to classify triangles by sides and angles, the sum of interior angles and triangles, and then how to find the measure of an exterior angle. Hopefully those first two things are things that you've done before and it should be just a refresher. Okay, so if we're talking about classifying triangles, if you're classifying triangles by their sides, we do it three ways. Scalene means that there's no congruent sides, and if there's no congruent sides, there is also no congruent angles. Okay, so that's scalene. Nothing is the same, all the sides are different, and all the angles are different. If we're talking about an isosceles triangle, that means that two sides are the same, and it also means that two angles are the same or congruent. And if you notice here when they start marking things as congruent, they put the little tick marks on there. So if you have one tick mark here and one tick mark here, that indicates that those two sides are the same or congruent to each other. And then finally, you have an equilateral triangle that has three congruent sides and three congruent sides. You can see that they all three have two tick marks. And it also has three congruent angles. And as you're gonna learn here in just a minute, triangles always add up to 180 degrees. So if all of the angles are congruent, they're all going to be 60 degree angles. Okay, so if we're classifying by sides, we can classify them by calling them scalene, isosceles, and equilateral. If we are classifying by angles, then we have four ways that we can classify them. And one way is if they are acute, that means all three angles in the triangle are acute. If they are a right triangle, that means there is exactly one right angle. If there is an obtuse triangle, <clears throat> there is exactly one obtuse angle. An equiangular, if you break that word apart, equa means equal, angular meaning angle, equal angles. So they're all three congruent angles that just like up above with the equilateral, they're also all 60 degrees. Okay, so just practicing what that might actually look like and how we would label something. If I wanted to sketch and label an obtuse isosceles triangle, first we have obtuse, so we know it's gonna have to have an angle greater than 90 degrees, exactly one angle greater than 90 degrees. And it's isosceles, that means that two sides are going to be the same. So let's draw an obtuse angle and connect it here like this, Oops. okay? This angle right here is obtuse. I can see that without actually measuring it. And if it's isosceles, I'm going to say that this side and this side are congruent to each other. So that would make it isosceles because there are two sides that are the same. Now it says to sketch and label a right scalene triangle. Scalene meaning there are no sides that are the same. Right meaning there's a right angle. So if we just sketch a right angle here, make ourselves a triangle, there's our right angle. And we always indicate a right angle with that little square. And so we know that none of these sides are the same. We're gonna put one tick mark here, two tick marks here, and three tick marks there. That would indicate that none of the three sides are congruent. Okay, <clears throat> something else that I hope is somewhat of a review for you is the fact that if you have a triangle, all angles in triangles always add up to exactly 180 degrees. So if you added angle A plus angle B plus angle C, it is always going to be 180 degrees. So let's practice those two things that we talked about. We're gonna use that triangle sum that they add up to 180 degrees and then we are going to go ahead and classify them by their sides and their angles. So first of all, on number 11 here, we have 78 degrees, we've got 31 degrees, and we have angle one. That's not one degree, that's angle one. First, we need to figure out what the measure of angle one is. Well, we know that all three of them together have to equal 180. So we know that 78, 78 plus 31 plus angle one equals 180 degrees. <coughs> Excuse me. 
If we add 78 and 31 together, we get 109 plus angle 1 equals 180. If we subtract 109 from both sides, we get that angle 1 equals 71 degrees. So that angle right there is 71 degrees. So if we look at it, 71 degrees, 78 degrees, and 31 degrees, those are all acute angles. And they're all different lengths, so they would be scalene, because none of them are the same. So if none of the angles are the same, that means none of the sides are the same. Okay, so let's look at the second one. We have 70, or excuse me, 40 degrees plus 30 degrees. So if we were gonna figure out angle one, we'd have 40 degrees plus 30 degrees plus angle one equals 180. 40 and 30 is 70. And if we subtract 70 from both sides, angle one is 110 degrees. So this angle is 110 degrees. For classifying it by its angles, it has an obtuse angle of 100 degrees. So it's an obtuse and none of the sides are the same because you have 110, 30, and 40, which would make it scale. <clears throat> okay, so go ahead, pause the video, and figure out number 13 and 14, and then check to make sure that you are correct. If you get it incorrect and you're still a little uncertain about it, please raise your hand and let me know. Okay, so if you look at these two, we have a right triangle here on question 13 because it has a right angle right there, and none of the angles are the same, so it's going to be scalene. On question 14, it's an equilateral triangle. All three of them are 60 degrees, which means they're all the same length of the sides, all the same angle, so we would call it equilateral. It's also acute because the angles are all less than 90 degrees, and it's equi equiangular. So let's put a little bit of algebra in here with this. So we know that this is a triangle, it has three sides, therefore all three angles have to add together to equal 180 degrees. So if we are going to write out a whole equation, we would add all three of those parts together and set it equal to 180 degrees. So we would have 2x minus 2 plus, that down there, 7x minus 30, plus negative 3x plus 8 equals, when we add all three of them together, they are going to equal 180 degrees. So all we did was we just added our three parts. There's the, that angle, there is that angle, and there's that angle, and they all three add up to 180. If we combine our like terms, <coughs> We are going to get 6x minus 24 equals 180. If we add 24 to both sides, we get 6x equals 204, and x equals 34, just by adding up all of our angles to equal 180. Okay, so when we're talking about the interior angles, so if we look at this diagram over here, these angles that I'm highlighting, a, b, and c, are on the inside, and if we add it up, angle, oops, angle A plus angle B plus angle C, all of those on the inside would equal 180 degrees. Now, if we extend this line out here, we create this exterior angle. Angle one out here is an exterior angle. So we need, to, there is a relationship that goes along with these angles. And you have here, let's see, angle one on the outside is going to equal the sum of these two angles over here that it does not touch. So if you wanna put that in words, the exterior angle one is equal to the sum, you're gonna to add together the measures of the two non-adjacent interior angles. What we mean by non-adjacent <coughs> is this angle right here is adjacent or next to and actually makes a linear pair with angle one. And then angle A and B, angle B are non-adjacent because they do not touch angle one. So the sum of angle A plus angle B is going to equal angle one. 
So let's see what that's going to look like. So we have here is our exterior angle, 2x minus 5. And our two non-adjacent interior angles are 70 and x. And so we know that x plus 70, if we add those two on the inside, is going to equal the exterior angle, which is 2x minus 5. And then it's just solving algebraically. We would um, subtract x from both sides. We'd get 70 equals x minus 5. If I add 5, I get 75 equals x. Okay. So now we need to find the measure of angle 1 on question number 3 here. And if you look, we've got a exterior angle. That angle is on the outside. And make sure you're reading the directions carefully. We need to find the measure of angle 1. We're needing to find the measure of that red angle. However, we're going to have to do multiple steps to get there. So we know that that 5x minus 10 is going to equal the sum of those two. So we can say that 3x plus, oops, 3x plus 40 equals 5x minus 10. Okay, so if we go ahead and solve that, if I subtract 3x from both sides, and I get 40 equals 2x minus 10, if I add 10, and then divide by 2, I get that x equals 25. However, it doesn't say what is x, it says what is angle 1. So we've used the idea of the exterior angle. Now we need to start thinking about all three interior angles. And we know that those three guys have to add up to 180 degrees. So we know on the inside, I have 40 degrees plus 3x. Well, 3x is going to be 3 times 25 plus angle 1 is going to equal 180 degrees. <coughs> so 3 times 25 is 75. So I have 40 plus 75 plus angle 1 is 180. Let's see, that's 115 plus angle 1 equals 180 degrees. If I subtract 115 from both sides, angle 1 is going to equal 65 degrees. And anytime we do these, it's a pretty good idea to go back and look and see. Here's a 65 degree angle. We're saying that angle 1 is 65. Look at your diagram. That's definitely an acute angle. It is less than 90 degrees, and it looks like it's about 65. So we always want to make sure our answer is reasonable when we get done. Okay. And then over here, we have a right triangle. Okay. And with a right triangle, we can think about it two ways. We know that the sum of the whole triangle has to equal 180. So one way to think about it, and I'll show you two ways to think about this here. Okay. One way to think about it is if you add all three together, it equals 180 degrees. So I could say that 2x plus x minus 6 plus 90 equals 180 degrees. Or if we are fairly logical and reasonable individuals, we can say that, well, I know that all of the angle, all three together add up to equal 180. I know for a fact that this one's 90. Therefore, these two have to add up to be 90 as well. So I could say that 2x plus x minus 6 equals 90 degrees. Because if you think about it, out of the 180 degrees, 90 degrees is already taken up. The other 90 degrees has to be those other two angles. So either way that you do it, you get the same answer. So if you had solve this one, you'd get 3x plus 84 equals 180. If we subtract 84 from both sides, I'm going to get that 3x equals 96 and x equals 32. Same thing over here. I'd get 3x minus 6 equals 96. If I add one to both sides, or excuse me, add 6 to both sides, and I divide by 3, I still get x equals 32. Okay, last but not least is your homework. There's going to be a big ideas homework assignment online for you to work on that needs to be completed by the next class. Good luck.